Hello pretties, we are so excited to be sharing this video with you because we have a brand new lens flare collection that you just don't want to miss. That's right, in case you haven't guessed yet, it's the new Kaleidoscope Lens Flare Overlay and Photoshop Actions Collection. We know that you're just dying to take a quick peek at this collection, so let's dig right in and see what it can do. Okay, so I have here in my Actions panel my Pretty Actions Flare Applicator. We're just going to click on the Flare Applicator to apply our flare, press play, and notice how we automatically have a pop-up here. We can navigate to where we had that lens flare saved in our computer. Click on the one that you want to apply to your image and press place, and voila. Okay, so right now we have that over top our image. It's gonna blend here in just a moment. Before that happens, we're just gonna click and resize and readjust. Okay, once you think that's right about where you want it to be, you can press enter. And if it's still not exactly positioned, that's fine. Just select your move tool here in your tools panel and you can still click and readjust. I really like that as is, so I'm gonna press enter. That was super simple, real quick, before and after, bam. Really nice soft light shining in behind the subject here. So notice all of the additional options that have automatically popped up in my layers panel here. Let's take a quick look at those. And these are just super pretty hazy light effects that you can easily add on to any image that you're adding a flare to, or even if you don't add the flare and you want that extra boost and dreaminess added to your image, definitely go ahead and utilize these. Let's go ahead and move on to our second image. We're going to run the flare applicator again. And guys, I think one of the coolest things about this collection is that each and every one of the 40 overlays are 100% optically captured lens flare images. And that means that they were captured completely in camera. That's right, these are the real deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and select overlay number 27. We're going to place that, and again, we can just readjust it and kind of figure out for now how that's going to fit the image. Press enter, and I still have the option to move it around. We're gonna select the move tool, kind of move it over a little bit here, and readjust, press enter. I'm not going to make any changes to this whatsoever. I love it 100% real quick before and after. Absolutely dreamy. Let's add a little bit of light behind our subject here. Now, one real quick tip when you're adding light or lens flare or hazes to your image, you'll definitely want to pay attention to where the light is coming from already in your captured photograph, okay? so. Notice in this image, it's kind of coming in back behind her. So adding this light is really gonna complement and look good. Now, if we were to add a flare to the bottom left-hand corner, that wouldn't really make sense with the light that is already existing in the image. So you don't wanna add a light that's coming in the opposite direction that it's already present in, in the photograph. So this is a lens flare that is adding some haze to the image that I don't really want on my subject. So I can either click on unfog subject. I have my brush selected. We're going to bring white to the foreground color. The opacity is at 100% and I can just kind of click over top of her here. Um, real quick before and after, look at how that really defines the subject and just gets rid of that haze there. That's really the simplest option. Um, if you don't want any additional uh, depth or sharpening, you can just click on your flare overlay uh, layer mask, the little white rectangle, and we'll bring black to the foreground color. And we're just doing that because it's the opposite color that's currently present in the mask here. So I can, uh, what I'm doing is just painting the haze, the lens flare off of the subject and you can kind of bring the opacity down and just click around here. So notice how the light from the overlay is still kept when we're doing the unfog subject. So you're really getting a completely different look just depending on what you're going for. 
I really like the look that we got with the unfog subject option. So we're just gonna paint that back to white here and remove what I just erased from the overlay. That's very, very nice and clean and bright, which is exactly what I was going for. Two more images we're going to give you real quick before and afters. Let's add a fun rainbow flare to this image. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and select overlay 40. And I'm just going to kind of tilt this on an angle, make it a little bit larger. Press enter. Okay, let's grab the move tool for this one and I'm just gonna move it a little bit closer to her. Okay, and you can do a real quick before and after. Now I really want the colors to pop a little bit more in this image and Pretty Actions really knows how to make your workload a lot lighter and a lot more fun. So instead of wondering how I can make this overlay richer, more colorful, um, all I have to do is select the add depth and color option, press play and bam. So here I have my uh, black layer mask, white is the foreground color. I have my brush selected. I'm gonna bring it back to 100%. And I'm just gonna paint over that. Look how that automatically just popped. And I can move the layer opacity up or down depending on how vibrant I want that to be. Seriously guys, these are super, super fun. And this last one is one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and apply our last Lens flare overlay, I know we're sad to go, but super excited for you all to start playing with your own collection and seeing just how much fun that you can have with it on your own. So here we go guys, last overlay. And this one I'm really gonna resize. Now I'm also gonna mention if you have an older version of Photoshop or not the most recent version, I'm just clicking and resizing here, but you may need to hold shift and resize that way just to keep the original image proportions. Okay, I'm gonna press enter. I really want it to look like it's coming out from behind the trees here. Again, just sticking with where is the light already coming from. We're gonna select the move tool just so I can move that so it, it is peeking through the trees. Okay, there we go. Now if you have any hard edges in your image, notice how the flare kind of just suddenly ends there. Maybe you want it to fade out instead and that's super easy too. So our layer mask is already selected here for the overlay. Black is the foreground color. Remember that's the opposite of white which is currently present. We're going to select the brush and bring the opacity down because we want it to fade and not erase anything entirely. Okay, and you're going to resize your brush accordingly here and just click over the edges and you'll get a really super nice fade. Okay, and I can kind of fade it down here as well. Real quick, before and after, again, we have some beautiful jewel-toned pastel hazes that we can easily add to the image to enhance as well. Thank you guys so much for taking a quick peek into our new Kaleidoscope Lens Flare collection. We know you guys are gonna love it just as much as we did making it for you all.